Hey guys, it's Roman here. Welcome to the Niche Site Formula. In this video, I will tell you about nine most influential marketers and four young experts and why you should follow them to stay up to date with marketing and SEO trends. There are countless marketers online who are willing to share their advice, but it's not always easy to distinguish between the true experts and the wannabes. The real experts contribute to the marketing industry by consistently offering tips and new ideas. Based on that, they are trusted and respected by other top marketing experts. The following influencers in the digital marketing world will help you stay up to date with trends. The following 13 marketers are excellent resources not only for the insight they share, but the best practices and tips they spotlight. Pat Flynn US-born Pat Flynn is probably the most known and popular affiliate marketer out there with the website named SmartPassiveIncome.com. He started his online business in the year 2008, after he was laid off from his job. He worked in an architectural firm in Southern California before that. In 2008, he created an ebook study guide, a digital book that could help visitors pass the LEED exam, and started selling it for $19.99. The first month, he made $7,000. He was so excited to share what he had learned, he created SmartPassiveIncome.com that same month. Then he started a YouTube channel and podcast. In 2009, he was making $20,000 to $30,000 a month from this ebook, audiobook, and practice exams. He worked on his website for about one and a half years, with his first income in the beginning being around $8,000, all the way up to $50,000 in 2013. Pat Flynn has been a phenomenal success and always was known for transparency about what he is doing, and he has always given full detail of his monthly income since 2006, all the way to this date. He's earned $3 million by creating authoritative and helpful websites in areas as desperate as passing a green building exam, becoming a security guard, and establishing and growing a successful food truck business. Although his income comes from various channels, 80% of it is from affiliate marketing. Brian Dean Brian is the brutal truth about SEO. This is amazing how his backlico became a synonym to SEO. Hailed as a top blogger to follow by Forbes and called an SEO genius by Entrepreneur Magazine, Brian has been in the world of content and SEO for a decade now. Today, Brian's blog reaches nearly 100,000 email subscribers. He regularly releases in-depth video content to more than 170,000 YouTube subscribers and has over 3,000 students who've gone through his paid course on both CEO and generating views on YouTube. Brian started during New York State's public employee hiring freeze in 2008's economy crash. With nothing else to do, he found himself hanging out in his parents' basement reading The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Backlinko was born in 2013. After promoting it on some popular marketing forums, people started asking about a course on SEO, and Brian launched his first flagship course, SEO That Works, in late 2013. It took about four months from start to finish to create the first version of his course using just Google Docs and a DSLR camera. The first launch of the course did around $80,000. Since that time, he had multiplied it by 10. 100% of Brian's revenue comes from online course sales. To promote his Backlinko blog, Brian used a rule of thumb that you should spend 20% of your time writing and creating the content and 80% of your time promoting it. Also, he sends at least 250 emails for every post that he publishes, not counting his email list. Neil Patel London-born and U.S.-based Neil Patel is not exactly an affiliate marketer, but he is rated among the top 25 marketing influencers in the world by Forbes. He was recognized as a top 100 entrepreneur under the age of 30 by President Obama. He began his first entrepreneurial venture in his freshman year at John F. Kennedy High School, selling burnt CDs and eventually black boxes to fellow students and their parents. Advice Monkey was Patel's first online venture, which he established while in high school after he turned 15. Nick Patel started an SEO company named Advantage Consulting Services, ACS for short in 2010 with his business partner, Haitan Shah. The company grabbed interest from several international brands like HP, Samsung, Microsoft, GM, Amazon, and more, which boomed his earning and made him kind of a big deal. ACS was making sales to around $3 million annually. In 2006, he founded A Crazy Egg. The company helped businesses flourish with increased visitors and engaging content on websites. Later, he received an offer to sell the company at $5 million, which he declined. In 2007, he launched the Quick Sprout blog, which started growing quick and garnished over $1 million annually. In 2008, Neil partnered again with Hyten Shaw to form Kiss Metrics, a company which is like Google Analytics. Neil grew it to a $100 million company. However, Neil left the company in 2015. 
Neil spends millions of dollars on testing different extravagant marketing tactics. The estimated worth of his company now is $5 to $10 million. In June 2019, he founded the content marketing and SEO specialist agency in India named Neil Patel Digital, Rand Fishkin. Rand is the co-founder of Moz and Inbound.org, as well as the author of Lost and Founder, a painful, honest field guide to the startup world. Now he's the co-founder and CEO of Spark Toro. In 2004, he created the SEO Moz blog, which over the next decade became the world's most popular community and content resource for search marketers. In 2007, Rand became CEO of SEO Moz, Inc., now called Moz, the software competitor to such tools like Arifs and SEM Rush. Over seven years as CEO, Rand grew Moz from seven employees to 134, revenues from $800,000 to $29.3 million, and traffic from 1 to 30 million visitors. He raised two rounds of funding, $1.1 million in 2007, in 18.1 million in 2012, led three acquisitions, and in 2013 rebranded the company from SEO Moz to Moz, shifting focus from exclusively SEO tools to broader web marketing software. Rand stepped down as CEO in February of 2014, but remains chairman of Moz's board. Rand is also the co-founder of Inbound.org, a site dedicated to sharing articles about marketing from across the web. The site was sold for no profit to HubStop in 2014. In 2018, Rand founded SparkToro, an underdevelopment software company focused on audience and influencer intelligence. Dar Darren Rouse. Darren started blogging in the year 2002. Darren Rouse had made his fortune by selling his ebooks to online visitors. His blog, ProBloggers.com, receives more than 30,000 visitors per day with estimated earnings of $40,000 to $45,000 per month. The first money he made online was AdSense, and also his first personal blog way back in the day. Also, he experimented a little with Amazon's affiliate program. In 2009, Darren created an ebook on photography, and it made $72,000 in 11 days. Since then, he had published about 40 ebooks. Not all of them have done that well. Some of them have done a lot better than those early ones. The ebooks typical range from $20 to $30 and sell directly through a site. His blog, ProBlogger.net, started a revolution of professional bloggers all over the world. He's got close to 8,000 posts and he's influenced millions of people worldwide. Digital Photography School started in 2006 now is about 10 times bigger than ProBlogger has about 4 million visitors a month. He makes around $7,000 to $8,000 a month through Amazon, and that's largely through recommending cameras and lenses and those types of things. Today, Darren runs ProBlogger, Digital Photography School, a podcast, and events. Darren feels very comfortable on a stage, and the largest event he did was 4500 at World Domination Summit. Spencer Haas Spencer is an entrepreneur and blogger behind NichePursuits.com website. He owns dozens of niche websites and not so long ago sold his keyword research tool Longtail Pro. He quit his job in 2011 to work full-time on his blogs. Spencer is extremely passionate about niche sites which made him create an extremely popular tool to find gold nugget keywords called Longtail Pro in 2011. Eventually, Spencer sold his Longtail Pro business after five years of hard work on this tool. It wasn't an easy deal, but Spencer still has 20% of the company, with 80% spread across 15 investors that bought into Longtail Pro. It took three to four months of talking and discussing, mostly around the price. Buying into growing niche sites is another revenue stream for Spencer. He buys sites making roughly $2,500 to $3,000 a month and then doubles it to $5,000 to $6,000 a month after three months of hard work on organic traffic and optimization. He has quite aggressive growth goals and buys websites every month. Also, Spencer has a group of 10 guys that manage the free internship program, teaching people how to build a site and at the same time helping Spencer's portfolio of site growth. Actually, this is a very clever model with a win-win approach. John Dykstra John's worked on his niche websites full-time since early 2012. Despite ups and downs, his publishing business has grown steadily over the years. He's the person behind FatStacksBlog.com, where you can learn many tips, tricks, and strategies. John is the master of building high-quality niche blogs and monetizing them to $10,000 to $20,000 per month in record time. $10,000 in one case in 60 days. At the beginning of his niche publishing business, John was focusing on affiliate revenue but then added display ads from AdSense, which was a game changer and earned well over a million dollars. 
As John reported, he made $28,000 in his first income report in June 2016, and has been making a similar figure ever since. Recently, John doesn't disclose his income sources. Ryan Stewart Don't mislead him with the Canadian record producer and songwriter Ryan Stewart. They have nothing in common. Like Ryan stating on his page, RyanWasHere.com, I grow companies using advanced online marketing strategies, so there is nothing related to the music. During the last 10 years, Ryan helped brands like Hellman's, Bayer, Fiat, and Nike on online acquisition strategy. He has built and scaled SEO agency Webris to $1.1 million in annual recurring revenue in 16 months. Later, it was acquired in 2018 by Nick Eubanks and his digital agency I'm From the Future, IFTF. As CMO, he also grew annual sales from $750,000 to $1.4 million in eight months for Ardent Cannabis. His work had been featured on the most popular blogs such as Entrepreneur on Fire, Search Engine Journal, Influencers, and more. You can also see him frequently traveling with data-driven marketing talks on different events around the globe. Nathan Gotch Nathan is the second expert in SEO on this list. He has been doing digital marketing, mainly SEO, since 2012. Now he runs a Gotch SEO Academy with over 700 students. The three mistakes he recommends to avoid are as follows. Number one, doing a gray hat SEO. Number two, thinking that publish more content was good SEO. Number three, neglecting copywriting. He recommends sticking to his proven process. Audit, optimize, create, promote. Nathan is preaching that nothing will help you learn faster than trying to grow your website and agree with him. Now, now let's take a look at the four young experts who can teach you a lot about SEO and marketing. Glenn Alsup. Glenn's story started with ViperChill.com blog, where he was sharing powerful SEO tactics with 70,000 plus subscribers. Now this blog renamed to Detailed.com, where he helps smart businesses grow their search engine traffic. In 2006, when he was 17, Glenn dropped out of college and left Newcastle, England to move to Cape Town, South Africa to work for a digital marketing company. At 19, he was making enough money from his online side projects to quit his main job and move back to England. Between 2009 and 2010, he sold one business for a five-figure fee and another one for a six-figure fee. In 2014, when he was 25, his marketing agency had generated its first seven-figure year in revenue thanks to offering SEO and linking building services for clients. He went from building four-figure affiliate sites to a five-figure personal development blog, then a six-figure WordPress plugin to a seven-figure digital marketing agency. I'm a huge fan of another of Glenn's projects called Gaps.com, where he was tracking successful online startups and uncovering gaps in the market. Glenn stopped posting interesting cases in 2018, but looks like he got back into it in June 2019. Glenn is a self-confessed introvert and doesn't speak at events and doesn't mingle at conferences. Chris, Chris Lee. Glenn built his first website in 2009 on a dusty old PC desktop and monetized it with AdSense. It was a passive model, and it had built up a portfolio of a few websites that were collectively making $300 to $400 per month. Three years later, in 2012, he started working as a full-time SEO specialist at a local marketing firm in my city, all the while building sites on the side. 2013 was a breakthrough year where he first crossed $1,000 a month with my sites avoiding Google's Panda and Penguin updates. Then he reached a goal of hitting $100 a day, and after five months quit his job and has been doing SEO and building websites for a living ever since. In 2015, he was running a very interesting and valuable blog about SEO named Rank XL, but in May 2019 it had been acquired by Alpha Investors, alphainvestors.com, the new player in the industry of building profitable authority websites. Now their CEO, Andrej Illison, takes over the day-to-day -day operations at Rank XL. These, these two guys are the new breed of SEO youngsters doing a bunch of experiments and making tons of money online at the same time. Matt and Charles are well-known marketers in the community, but playing on a lower level than other people on this list. They experiment a lot with SEO tactics, but it's mostly around gray hat and black hat strategies. For sure, they have a lot of fans who follow them and implement the recommended tactics, but my advice is to read and listen and then analyze very carefully before doing anything they recommend. Matt Diggity Matt Diggity is a full-blown search engine optimization specialist and popping dancer. He runs DiggityMarketing.com blog. He was born in the United States, but spent most of his time in Chiang Mai, Thailand. He used to work for a Silicon Valley startup, which he acquired. Then he sold his stock options and decided to run away from a slavery style of work focusing on Amazon affiliates and ClickBank. 
In 2012, he started the Diggity Links service offering PBN links. In 2018, Diggity Links was acquired by Rank Club SEO Services Company. After that, he founded the Diggity Lab project focused on creating money sites, niche selection managing the PBNs. His Diggity Marketing now is a true affiliate SEO agency and a money-making machine running around 20 sites pulling in big money, with quite a few of the 5 and 6 figure per month range. He also runs the Affiliate Lab, the Affiliate SEO Course Authority Builders, a guest posting service, and an invitation-only mastermind class Chiang Mai SEO conference. Charles, Charles Float Charles Float understands SEO inside and out, and he is an award-winning marketing blogger. Charles, a British SEO consultant, has been in SEO since early 2009 and made a name for himself in the gray hat blogging scene. He was the original author behind the God of SEO blog, which attracted notoriety in both the white and black hat communities for a series of posts, guides, and case studies that eventually led Charles to be targeted directly by Google. Now he runs seoai.co.uk an e-commerce SEO services agency as well as DFY Links, a private membership-based link service, which has over 200,000 websites under the hood. You don't, you don't need to read many blogs, but you should follow marketers who are doing great work and these marketers are on the list. Once you have enough information, you should start taking action. Don't just read articles. Go and apply what you learned. Please give this video five stars. Leave a positive review, add it to your wish list, and share it with your friends. If you want to know more about Amazon affiliate marketing and how to build profitable niche sites, watch my other videos. Go to nichesiteformula.com and join other students on their way to financial freedom and success. See you soon.